Notable uh, point about this occasion is that it was one of the four or five stations that went online over this past weekend that pushed Electrify America past the 100 site mark. So they now have more than 100 live charging sites active over the whole of the United States. Okay, here we are back at South Shore Plaza. Shopping mall in just south of Boston in Braintree, Massachusetts. And if the Electrify America listings are to be believed, the uh, community charging site down here, as opposed to the highway charging site, is now active. Which, let's face it, these do look pretty active. Okay. Green lights illuminated screens this looks promising so this is going to be uh, the first visit to a community charging site the uh, highway charging site that we visited in uh, Chicopee Massachusetts was the full range of 50 kilowatt uh, 150 kilowatts and 350 kilowatt uh, charges whereas this site is uh, more of a mall shopping um, local kind of deal with uh, three 50 kilowatt uh, units with five CCS plugs, one CHAdeMO plug and the level two J1772 plug that you can see to the right here. I'll uh, take a look here, show you the process. So they posted this recently, reminding people to plug in first. That's what we will do. Oh, and this is why we have two of these. That one won't reach, but this one should do. They are pretty tight cables. Um, the costs, dollar session fee, 35 cents a minute. Just entered my phone number for text updates on the charging Aha Session error Okay, let's try this again Okay, take two I moved the car a little bit closer this time again. Okay. It's possible I was a bit too far away. obviously what's whirring up over there. Stepping up some power for me. So starting at 17% battery, 18 kilowatts. And take a look inside, see how that looks in the car. have been driving um, it's about 25 miles to this location um, it's 37 degrees now it was closer to 35 degrees Fahrenheit earlier on and it's been uh, below freezing overnight so that's the reason for this slow startup rate um, that's marginally better than the EVgo um, units that we've done the winter 
DCFC testing on um, but again this is just uh, we're going to see here this will be a good example of how this is uh, really detrimental on these units that charge you by the minute I'm not going to stay on this for too long because um, that 18 kilowatt rate is uh, means I get about half probably less than half of what I um, should it takes twice as long to uh, to get the same amount of power as it would if it was a warm day so uh, this is potentially even worse on a um, electrify America unit because you have to factor in the one dollar session fee which you're paying one way or another there you can see two minutes up there um, and it's already up to one dollar thirty six cents uh, for that first kilowatt hour delivered um, I will see if this ramps up a little bit but uh, I mean I've been driving this is all interstate down here so that's uh, probably 30 20 30 minutes on the interstate at uh, highway speeds you know full regen I got regen back within uh, within about five minutes of driving um, the regen was probably up to about 50 45 50 kilowatts so it's the same results as the uh, other tests I've done trying to get this up to um, a warmer battery after it's been cold soaked all night in freezing weather um, it's just there's not much you can do basically unless you're if you're going on a road trip you should be fine because you're probably gonna drive uh, three hours or so before you make your first fast charge stop but uh, for anything closer it's just gonna be uh, slow going you'll just have to factor that into the the calculation because you're not going to warm up that battery sufficiently if it's uh, been sitting in freezing cold temperatures overnight so one of the other factors to note about this uh, not just this station but the wider electrify america uh, network this one went online uh, friday the 8th of february according to the listings um, and it was uh, one of the units that uh, put them past the 100 um, 100 site mark so they now have more than 100 active locations at Sunday 10th of February right now and uh, the last count today they had 105 active locations so this is um, you know it's an important milestone it's in cycle one um, which ends in June 2019 and they expect to have something in the region of I think it was 480 maybe for up to 500 um, sites some of them are community sites like this one with the slower chargers but uh, located at malls and near big metropolitan hubs like Boston others are um, closer to highway sites and uh, places that you just want to stop off and get that full charge rate so they'll have the 50 kilowatts 150 kilowatts and 350 kilowatts units and uh, they'll have a minimum of four DC fast chargers um, whereas these community sites have only three um, so but that's a it's an important milestone it's uh, you know getting past the hundred mark is significant nationwide it's still obviously not in the region of Tesla's and uh, supercharger network but you know the more of these that go in if they are even close to being on track uh, for that uh, 500 close to 500 sites then um, we're on good shape to get a lot of certainly a lot of CCS plugs I feel a little bit um, guilty in some ways every time I come to these sites because you really have that lone CHAdeMO plug um, so it's another reminder to CCS users please plug into these type of units first the two that have the two CCS heads please don't plug in if there's you know CCS only available don't plug into that uh, combo chadamo and ccs because you're gonna um kind of use up the one plug that uh, chadamo users can uh, take yeah, so i'm gonna stop this one that's 10 minutes to get three kilowatt hours obviously this uh 3.4 kilowatt hours but that's it's, uh, not something you want to spend time doing presumably it's going to tell me to move my vehicle here yep. okay we will do After tax, pretty much around five dollars for ten minutes, fifty cents a minute effectively for not a whole lot of 
energy. No big deal, not here for the, uh, the juice so much as the test this time, but that's not going to be any good if you're trying to get juiced up quickly. There's the level two. Okay, so just for giggles, I'm gonna have a look at the uh, level two, see what that's like. Same deal, plug in first. So here, you've still got a session fee, and then three cents a minute. Okay, let's see how this goes. Payment error. Okay, it's not promising. Car has recognized it. And it does not like this. Let's try another. this time Point three kilowatts. Let's see what the car says. Five kilowatts. We'll see if that picks up, but even that is kind of disappointing. I mean, on the local charge point level twos, um, a lot of which are free, um, you'll get the full seven kilowatts, just above seven kilowatts. So if you're again if you're paying by the minute here and you have this session fee, this is going to be more expensive than uh, than a lot of level twos. Obviously the the charge on these varies a lot depending on the station owner because um, a lot of the level two charge points will be just anywhere from free to I've seen fifty cents a kilowatt hour, which is crazy. Then there's parking fees on some of them, so you know it depends on your area. But uh, this doesn't seem particularly quick in order to uh, to make the most of these level 2 Electrify America units. Okay, so there's a little bit of time on the level 2. 4 kilowatt hours, $2.05. Still that slow 6.2 kilowatt rate. I'll compare that to the fast charge session, just time to unplug. These are also going to be a lot more visible at night with the uh, vibrant green lights on the top of them.